think we found what we're looking for right here, guys. I think this is it right here. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, this could be it. Are you ready to see this? Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Adventure. And today, we got a phone call that there could be a very rare, very aggressive white fish available for us to catch. This would be something that you've never seen before on YouTube for sure. I could possibly be the first one to actually own it. If I could open this, we're getting some live bait to try to catch it. Oh, dude, I'm shaking, shaking for this to actually happen. I can't even speak correctly either. Let's see if I can open this thing up. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just excited, guys. So excited. So the mystery white fish is actually wild. It's like one and one trillion or whatever the case may be. Let's see what we got in here. Got stuff wiggling in here. What is this? Oh, wow. Big tilapia. <laughs> Not what we're looking for, but we got live bait. I'll meet you guys at the spot. I think we found what we're looking for right here, guys. I think this is it right here. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, this could be it. Oh, oh. It's the species we're looking for, guys, but not the color. I'm gonna flip it in real quick. Now here we have a beautiful peacock bass, spotted butterfly peacock bass. These guys were introduced by local enforcement. Ow, 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 ow. These teeth are no joke. There you go. Now, our source said that they found one just like this, literally this big but albino, it was all white here and it had the red on the bottom. So we're looking for that. And the more I continue to walk around, I'm not seeing that. This beautiful water is treated. He could be blind and not wearing glasses and everything like that, but we'll see. We haven't finished walking the lake. We already know we have a lot of turtles messing with our lives, but this is a beautiful peacock. I want one for my pond, but only like the highest quality. So I didn't want to reveal who the source was for this, but my cameraman Ollie was the source. And there is a fat penalty for me wasting my time catching turtles. Whippings. Endless amounts of fish. No, no please! Fish. No. Are we pumping? Yeah, it's going. It's going? Alright guys, so we're out here and I was just making fun of Raul about saying that we did not catch this albino peacock, but turns out he was the plug Sir Dom. Dude, guys, we haven't seen it yet. But it's gonna be crazy because he just said he called Raul said we gotta get some water, get it ready to go. We're pumping some water from the same place he caught it. Dude, tell, tell us the story. Tell us exactly what happened right now. You have to tell us because you told us on the way. Dude, you jumped over here or something? What happened? I was out fly fishing and I thought it was an albino tilapia following my fly. When it got closer, I realized it was a peacock. I freaked out and called him. Now we're here. Oh my gosh, dude. We just pulled up. He had his hat, which is, you have your hat right here in your hand. He had, he hooked up over there, had his son go under here, help him land the fish and everything. You, there, it was on a bed, right? Mm -hmm. He had a fly saying that he was trying to catch it on a fly in this amazing spot, which is super disclosed because this is his, you know, stomping grounds and everything like that. And guys, you might be getting a huge albino peacock. I'm sorry for whipping you with those baits. I apologize. Oh, it's okay. I was so upset because we searched and searched and we're waiting for your call back. And it turns out you're the man with the plan, dude. I could not believe it. This was absolutely insane, dude. I cannot wait to see this beautiful thing. I, it brought tears to my eyes when you, when you said you caught it. Te actual tears. We're all ready to go. We're getting everything. I can't wait to add it. Look how crystal clear this water is. It's so clear. It's beautiful. And I can't wait to show you guys a brand new plate. It's siphoning. Oh, that would help. Here you go. We'll just do that. Sorry, bro. My bad, Don. We're good. Dude, teamwork. Dude, I can't believe it. I'm still like itching, bro. I'm itching. Look at his face. Are you ready to see this? Oh, he caught it and he put it in a bucket. Look at this. So we're gonna honest. I'm gonna hold this fish nice and tight, easy. And we're gonna put this right here in this tank right here, right now. Oh, his rod is there. Look at how lively this fish still is. This is one in a million. Look at that. Imagine that in the pond or in a tank. I have no idea. You can't see it. Come over here, Dom. Come on this side so you can see it. Where the hell? Oh, I see it. He's right there in the corner. Oh, 
that's cool. That's insane. Guys, he has a whole bunch of stuff. You need to follow him without Dom and my cameraman, Ali. This fish will not be possible. Go ahead and put your Instagram. What's your Instagram? Say it right now. That's Bowls 221 I'm going to go ahead and put that in the link below right there. Cool. Guys. Guys. I am. We got to go. That's all I have to say. Bro, Dom, come, come over here, man. It's the first time I met you and everything. It won't be the last time. We're going to be doing something fun for him as a huge thank you for this fish. I'm at a loss for words. I'll get in the car. We gotta get out of here. All right, Slayer. So we're back at the house, and we have a beautiful 150 gallon aquarium where I can put our brand new fish, or we have a pond. But the thing is, a fish of that caliber needs to house its own tank. I no longer have that 150 gallon where we had slam, and I have a beautiful 150 gallon right here. Now, before we would house our four catfish, Kylie product highly rest in peace we have Gucci and we have Louie now I want nothing to happen to this beautiful piebald one in a million albino peacock bass as much as I it hurts me to let these guys go we have a one in a million fish in the back of the truck right now I'm kind of pressed for time to make sure we can get that beautiful peacock bass in here all right Gucci you're gonna be first this one's gonna be hard to let go but all he's gonna take care of him or anybody, whoever wants to come in the net, I know. Thank you, sir. Hopefully you don't slide to make too much of a mess. That was easy. Not bad, not even hurt. Chilling, nice size. All right, keep it going. Let's go ahead and get this guy, Mr. Marble, Louie, come on. Thank you. Easy. I love these nets. You do the job, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. And last but not least, even though I want to keep them in here, but I'm not going to risk anything because that peacock bass is one in a million. My favorite, Gucci. So pretty. He is. You got to take care of him, bro. Make sure this one grows out, okay? Like, just this is the one that I want the most to grow up because he's literally kitty baby. There you go. All right, cool. So we're going to get these fish right now to Ollie's place. All right, guys. So you guys can't really see what's going on, but it's a huge pond. This is literally 10 by 4 feet, but looks like about 3 feet deep. So it's actually a lot bigger than the 150 gallon aquarium that we have in the house. So it'll be perfect for the fish. He has a couple koi in there. That looks like an arowana with that eye. Nice. And we have our baddies in here. How are we doing? Oh, a little stressed. So they threw up some stuff. No worries. We're gonna go ahead and acclimate these beautiful people. On top of that, we still have a beautiful peacock bass at home that needs to be added into a 150 gallon aquarium. Dude, I can't believe we got that thing. I'm excited. All right, here we have Louie adding him. Right now to the aquarium. Oh, oh, slippery guy. Bye bye, have a good time. What happened here? It got dark. Here we have Prada. There you go. Into the pond you go. Not bad, not bad. Alrighty, now we have my favorite, Gucci. You must take care of this. This is my pride and joy out of the three. Besides Kylie, was Kylie and Gucci. Here we go. Look at that. All right. Bye bye, have a good time. All right, cool. So we have all these fish in here. We're gonna do an update on these guys very soon. Now let's head home and add that albino peacock bass. Oh my God. Jeez, look at that. This thing is crazy. We're gonna see it in the light right now. Hold on, let me close that. Now this is the water. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Easy. Easy. Oh my goodness. Um, we're moving the net now. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm not going to harass it anymore. I'm not going to mess with it at all. We're going to acclimate it and then add it to this brand new aquarium, which is good. To, I keep saying brand Every time I add something to an aquarium, it's brand new. It's not a brand new aquarium. It's just a home aquarium. But look at that against the black contrast. That's insane. Look at that. That's sick. All right, cool. We'll tune in once it's acclimated. All right, Slayer, so we're back. And we've been letting this guy acclimate for a very long time. The temperature is exactly the same. And check him out. 
Oh, water's going here. It's okay, we'll just take this out. Look at that. Hold on. Let me see if I can get some better lighting on that. Hold on one second. All right, Slayer, so we're back and our fish is finally acclimated. We just went ahead and I threw out that drip system as I showed you guys before. But look at our brand new bass. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's, ah! Ow, ah! Look at that fish. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? Yeah, man, that's crazy. Hold on, you gotta get a quick photo with this fish. One in a million, guys, one in a million. So let's finally add her to the tank. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, under light. Look at that. Look at that, get in there, get in there. Look at that. That's crazy. 100% albino peacock bass. That is freaking insane, guys. 